Hi guys! Happy Wine Wednesday! Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Wine Wednesday. It has been quite some time since I've done a Wine Wednesday. I think it's been like three weeks or maybe a month since I've done a Wine Wednesday because I was really for real about my trying to conceive journey and then it was just like yeah let's it's not going the way i wanted to go so last night i was kind of going through my videos and i was like wow you know people really liked my wine wednesday video so i was like since i'm not actively trying but not actively not trying i might as well bust out the wine and go from there so today's wine is the stella rosa pineapple oh I took the first swig and it's so good. They have the watermelon at the the liquor store that I went to after the gym. And I'm going to go and get that probably if this bottle's gone for next week. But so far, so good. Stella is one of my favorite wines. Um, it's uh, very sweet. It's vegan and gluten-free. Um, and it's I think it's only like, I think it's like 5% alcohol. Yeah, 5% alcohol. So... If you are like me and you like a sweet kind of crisp, almost juice-like wine, then definitely check out those Stella, Ro Stella Rosa line. They have them at Walmart. Um, I find them at all of the liquor stores around town. So anyways, if you aren't already subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's roll the intro. Okay, so today's Wine Wednesday um, topic. I was thinking about this one, and I, I think I want to talk about discipline. And are whoopings effective? So I'm going to use my ColourPop Concealer and Prime. I'm not going to, like, go into too much detail on what I'm doing in the eyes. You know, I'll throw in some tidbits here and there, but I mainly want to keep the conversation going. So when it comes to disciplining and whooping children, personally for me, I obviously am black. <laughs> I was raised with a Christian, um, God-fearing grandmother. And then I spent time um, on the weekend with my mom and my dad. I lived with my mom, even though I was adopted by my grandmother. So it wasn't supposed to happen, but you know you know <laughs> so um i live with my mom and i would go to my dad's house every other weekend but i was technically i technically belonged to my grandma so adrian stayed with my grandma and i stayed with my mom for a little bit until i was in like sixth grade maybe i think it was yeah i think it's like when i went to the junior high so when i went to seventh grade i think that's when i moved back into my grandma's house so so with that being said, if you want to see my life story video, it is in my comments or in my description box. I'm going to just go into the Amrezi palette and take, I'm going to take Wasted. I'm also going to take New Yorker um, 1988 and BK and I'm going to do a look. Um, so with that being said, if you want to see that, it's in the description box. But so I was raised to get whoopings and I love my mom and my mom and I have a way better relationship now than we ever did it is so funny but as I've gotten older I've definitely started to I guess you could say not resent her as much I guess you could say because I feel like growing up I definitely resented her for the predicament that Adrian was in and for the predicament that I was in um you know even though I got to live with her so but now you know I'm older I understand that I can't throw stones at my mom for 30 years you know <laughs> I mean 25 years technically because I'm 25 so you know what's in the past is in the past and she you know obviously has righted her wrongs so with that being said um I lived with my mom and she was really big on discipline and when i mean discipline i mean she is whooping your fucking ass like you are getting your fucking ass beat and i don't have children but i i think that it worked for me because that 
fear factor was so scary for me. I was absolutely terrified of my mom growing up. Like, I knew she would take care of me and I knew I had everything that I needed and wanted, but still, like, I was absolutely terrified. And my mom, I don't know about y'all mom, but my mom was the type of mom that wanted to instill that fear in you. Like, she wanted you to be fucking afraid of her. And I don't know if I want my children to be like, to feel like that. You know, I knew growing up that if there was ever anything, anybody touching me inappropriately, anything inappropriate going on, I knew that I could go to my mom and she established that early. Like she made sure that she was like, you know, anybody touching on you, you're no, no spots. You know, you make sure you tell me I won't get mad. I will believe you. You know, she made sure to really like hammer that home. But at the same time, I was so afraid of her. Like, I don't I don't know because nothing ever happened to me. So I don't know if something were to happen that I would have told her. I think I would have, but even about sex. Like my mom made sure that any of these things, these life things she didn't like shun away from. So like, you know, you're gonna have sex. Make sure you let me know so I can get you on birth control and I can teach you about this and that. And, you know, about drinking alcohol and going out and, like, the etiquette for just everyday life. Like, she did not, like, hide any of that and didn't, like, make it seem like it wasn't going on in the world or that I would never do it. She just made it known that, like, if it was something that you were going to do, make sure you let me know. So, I was glad about that, but that just takes me back to just, like, <laughs> disciplining. So... My mom whooped the shit out of us. Like, she would beat our fucking ass. Like, there was one time she made us chew soap, like, for our whoopings. Like, we didn't get whoopings. We had to chew soap. But her main method was the belt. And then at one point, she would, like, make us stand and, like, take it like a man. And we would get, like, blasts to the fucking chest. Like, like two or three punches to the chest. And... <laughs> Looking back, I'm like, why would you do that, mom? And she's a completely different person now. She's a completely different headspace. Like, she is not who she used to be. And with Ducky and Sydney, I can see it. And I'm just like, now if I would have did that. <laughs> I wasn't a bad kid. And she'll even say, like, you weren't a bad kid. Now, my sister was a little more busy. And she was definitely the bad kid. She got whoopings all the time. And some of the whoopings that my sister got, I was like, Some of the whoopings that my sister got, like, oh my gosh, my poor sister, she was, she would get fucked up, but she just didn't do right in school. She didn't want to do right. She just, she was the rebellion, the rebelled. She was the child that rebelled. Um, but yeah, she really got fucked up. She really got fucked up. <laughs> like, I got bad whoopings. I got whoopings when I would um not have my grades up to standard and it was so funny because i'm the oldest and i'm the oldest on both sides of my family so my mom's oldest child and my dad's oldest child and my both of my parents kind of used me as the standard so i was never the child that got to like act out be bad you know whatever maybe because it was like this is this is your older sister this is who you need to behave like this is who sets the example so I had to have good grades. I had to, you know, stay in line and not have any, any like, you know, problems. So that just leads me back to, do you whoop your kids? And is whooping your kid or a kid, is that beneficial? Um, with me and my brother Declan, because we're a lot alike. So it's me, Adrian, Kiasia and then Decky um, on my mom's side. Now, Adrian, obviously, he would get whooped, but he gets like, like a pat on the hand and he thinks it's so hilarious. But if he does something bad or says something bad, oh, trust and believe Adrian was getting whooped because um, he used to have a cussing problem, but he was just repeating what he heard. But um, so my sister, whoopings didn't work for her. And it's kind of the same way for Sydney. Whoopings work for Decky and I. Like you could tell with Decky now, 
you can just look at him and he'll just like start busting out in tears and my mom said i was the same way like i didn't need whoopings because i was you know virtually a good kid but when i did get a whooping i knew not to do whatever i did again because it would just give me another whooping and i didn't want to whoop him so i think for me whoop whoopings worked but i don't think that they're that effective now i have um i guess you can say help raise my niece sydney and I've, obviously she's been in the world for five years and i when she was littler i didn't have that much patience like i didn't have very good patience with her and i don't know if it i don't I don't know like I, I think I could have done better you know I think I could have done better especially like looking back at like old videos where I would just like kind of like get upset with her for like little things and now that I'm older and a little more mature I understand that a two-year-old is going to knock things off of the table and they don't understand that they're not supposed to like they're still piecing things together and to just yell at them or just to like get super upset with them it's just not okay so it's definitely something that I, I, I did and saw and now I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's okay, you know? Um, but I'm going to pause right here and do my other eye off camera. Um, and then I'm going to um, come back and do the face. So... Okay, you guys, so I don't really know where we were in the story or in the topic, but I'm just gonna... That is so good. If you guys ain't tried that yet, definitely give it a try. Um, this is a new wig, by the way. And I kind of messed it up a little bit earlier, but you know what? It's fine. I made it work. I made it work. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so where jack and i are at with like having kids because i know a lot of you guys that follow me have kids you guys have been there done that or been there doing that um so jack and i are kind of like at the point where it's like we kind of don't want to discipline our children so obviously my husband's white and we all know that white culture is a lot different than black culture um and not to say that black people don't whoop their kids because obviously there's there's exceptions everywhere to both races but i from my experience um they definitely give out whoopings more but at my dad's house my stepmom we still got whoopings like she didn't whoop me as much my dad mainly did the disciplining because we were his kids but you know, when time came and we needed a good little swap, we got it. But, 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 but. So with that being said, um, Jack and I have both kind of decided that we didn't, we don't want to discipline our children. Um, and I don't know. We both decided that because you know, I don't really think that whoopings are as effective as some other punishments. Um, but sometimes I think, you know, you, you need a little swat on the butt and that's okay. But to the extent of the whoopings that I got and my sister got, that ain't cool. Like, I, I don't think that's okay. And, like, that shit was borderline abuse. <laughs> like looking at it now and being like yeah that shit wasn't okay like like we had great parents and a good upbringing and everything but those whoopings baby that was a problem so we've decided that we're not gonna whoop our kids but you know every so often you know not every so often like i'm like all right it's been three months let's give you a spanking but you know if the child warrants it then you know they'll get a little spanking but even like i was saying with sydney <sighs> sydney i used to whoop sydney and now i'm to the point where i'm just like like why are you 
you doing that? Like, you know you're gonna get in trouble. You know you're not listening. So now, especially since she's five, I just take away things that I know she she likes. So when she comes over here and she she messes up or she does something she's not supposed to be doing, as most five-year-olds are doing, I will, you know, take her tablet, you know, make them go to bed, turn off the TV, whatever it may be. But I've definitely gone away from like whooping her butt because she is that type of child that you constantly have to like keep your eye on and constantly like discipline because she's always fucking doing something. <laughs> um, but I just, I just started feeling bad. Like she's always getting a whooping because you know, she's always doing something and I just don't feel like she needs to get a whooping. So that's when I was just like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe let me try something different. And she's a lot like her mom. And I don't know if she completely gets it. Like understands like you're not getting a whooping because of this or you're in trouble because of this. She's a very, 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 very bright girl. So I definitely think she gets it, but sometimes she'll just continue to do it. And I'm just like, you know you're not getting a fucking whooping like but i don't know whoopings are just i don't know i don't know because i was whooped and i turned out fine you know so i'm like you definitely need to you know discipline your child i definitely believe in disciplining your child whether that's a whooping or standing in the corner going to time out getting your things taken away because if you don't whoop your kid or discipline your kid or you know if you don't discipline your kid the world is gonna have to discipline your kid and then that's when you have those fucking shit stains on the fucking in the world that are just doing things with no regard and no repercussion I definitely 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 think that that is a correlation to parenting um not disciplining your children or letting them get away with everything um I am not going to be that mother. That child can never do wrong. I want my child to be humble and I want my child to know when they did something great and also when they did something that they shouldn't be doing. So that way, you know, they know, like, they need to be able to understand and know when they are doing something that's good as well as bad. So and that's another thing, like, children need to know, like, like, okay, I did something good here. Like, they need to be praised as much as they are they like disciplined so like when your child is doing something great it's like oh my gosh you did so good in school today or you know you got a really good test on that or score on that test or you know you did really good in your band class or whatever it may be like that positive affirmation is so important when it comes to a kid because if you're constantly whooping your kid and constantly like you know beating into them like you did something wrong like they're, they're just gonna be on and that's that is just terrible they're gonna be on eggs and needle like pins and needles and you know it's always gonna be like always weary of like okay am i doing this right like am i gonna get yelled at for this like am i gonna get in trouble whatever it may be and that's just that ain't no way to live like that ain't no way to be raised either you know With that being said, that is uh, certainly where I'm at right now with that. Um, I want to talk about that. And also, um, also new job prospects. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to go up to Chicago to the testing center to test for um, an office position at the state job that's here in my city. Um, ooh, a mess. So it is nine or eight to four thirty or something like that, something along those lines, Monday through Friday. If I were to get the position, um, and then I'd still like I'd have to film on like Saturday and Sunday. So definitely, me getting this job would um, bring in more income because. 
although YouTube is great and it's a great job to have, it's not completely steady, especially if you ain't steady. So, you know, just getting this job would just completely being transparent would definitely like boost our finances. Um, it take the load off of Jack. And he is so hell bent on me just sticking with YouTube and just, you know, sticking it out and doing the YouTube thing. But I love doing the YouTube thing. But if I made more, like way more money on YouTube, I would be fine. Like if I felt like I was bringing in a consistent amount of money to pay like my bills, like my car no, and my car insurance, which is $300. And then, you know, my cell phone bill, which is like 140 something. So that's like, well, like four something. That's like four, let's just say, let's just say 450. And then, so all of those, those are just my, like, because all of our bills are all of our bills. Most of the bills come in my name anyways, but those are my bills and then my Amazon credit card and you know things like that if I brought in let's just round it up to like $500 and then I gotta pay my man manager fee so let's just say $600 and there was one point where I was like where it was like okay like yes bring it in bring it like that was cool and everything but it hasn't been that way for almost a year so to me it's just like I feel like I need to be contributing and bringing in money to at least at least six hundred dollars to pay my bills, and I don't feel like I'm there. So we've just been going back and forth about that. Like I've been wanting to find a job, like at least like an office job or part time job or something like that, for like the past like six months, <laughs> like six months, no joke. Um, but he just hasn't and that's what stopped me from like even like looking or anything but when i saw this job i'm like oh a state job so i'd get some state benefits like state health and you know i'd have good pay and it's an office position monday through friday i could still do clients on the weekend i don't have to worry about you know only being able to work on you know certain days things like that i just thought like oh that would be a really 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 good job but He's like, you're really, you're really serious about this job. And I'm like, yeah, like, I think it could be good for us. We could actually go on vacation. We could actually, you know, save some money and like things like that. Like, <laughs> it ain't all sunshine and rainbows, you know? So. So I'm wearing my Baba lashes in this Dionita. This is the lash that I wore on my wedding day, actually. Not this same lash, because they actually sent me more of this lashes, of this lash style, and this is, like, one of my favorite lash styles. It's a lot more wearable, a lot more wearable than, um, like, other lashes that I've worn, and I did hear your guys' requests on a lash tutorial. Um, definitely will be filming that for you guys soon. Um, on a more wearable lash because there is a difference between like a lash like this which seems wearable to me and maybe you if you wear lashes and then a lash like you know a, a crazier lash or a more simpler lash like the Ardell Demi Wispies or something like that like that's definitely more every day you know wear it to the office if I get this office job I'll have more experience with makeup that's appropriate to wear to the office you know if I even if I even decide to wear makeup. Cause it would be eight, 4.30 and baby, who is getting up at seven o'clock to do their makeup? Cause probably not me. And that's another thing, giving up my freedom. Cause right now I'm able to get up, go with my mom to the gym at like, I don't know what time do I go to the gym? Like I go with her to the gym maybe at like eight, sometimes 11, sometimes nine and my whole schedule would change so i don't know i just want to keep my options open i just want to i just want to bring in more money like and i hate to talk about money because not i don't I hate to talk about money but like just figuratively speaking like i hate to bring up money because you know it's always an issue but 
money is really the root of all issues like money is crazy so i just applied this colourpop super shock eyeshadow into the inner portion it's called mighty morphin it's from their butterfly collection and it's so pretty it's like a champagne kind of pinky color so so with this look i definitely wanted to keep it more uh wearable because i know you guys wanted to see more wearable makeup look um i definitely didn't know like you guys are always telling me like stop out your box do something different do something crazy and then when i ask you guys like what y'all want to see y'all talking about like wearable looks and i'm like really like wow like i felt betrayed <laughs> I thought I was doing the crazy out of the box looks like y'all wanted and really in all actuality you wanted wearable everyday looks and I'm like I can give I can give you that I didn't know that's what you wanted but you know things change like seasons so I definitely get it but this look is so so like everyday simple wearable like i know i wasn't like talking you physically through it but it's so like simple easy it's literally literally just like smoking out the lash line and just like some tape and then just like literally smoking out your lash line that's that's literally as best as i can explain it i just saw that pat mcgrath is releasing a concealer and I'm gonna buy it because first impression on the foundation was shit. I really didn't like it. I didn't like the formula. I didn't like the color. I didn't really like too much of anything. But now wearing it, I'm like, she's that girl. Like she's definitely that girl because she looks so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and then I'm going to change my clothes, come back for the lips and everything like that. My neck hurts a lot. Well, let me take my last wig before I um go ahead and do these lips. So I mean I can still drink because I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick, but I'm gonna take my Kiss lip liner in the shade Chocolate. Usually when I'm doing a brown lip, I usually you like to go in with a darker kind of lip liner. So next I'm going to mix two liquid lipsticks, I think, I think. Do I want to do that or do I want to go in with my... So yeah, I think I'm going to mix, um, this is Cork from Dose of Colors. Now this is a little darker, more like brown light. -like. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the lighter color, which is Knock on Wood. Uh, I usually like Knock on Wood a little bit more than Cork, since it's a little, a little lighter. I think I might leave this matte as well. I don't know, the eyes are pretty, pretty, pretty matte. So I don't know what I want to do. I think... I think this is the color that I wore for the wedding because I think I like this more than I liked ABH's. Um. Okay, so I'm not really feeling the lip. So I think I might, mm, maybe I'll just apply like a gloss. This is Moi, it's a Mickey Mini collection and it has like bronze sparkles okay you guys so i just went ahead and applied a little bit more of the inner corner highlight applied lower lash line mascara and that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i did but 
Like I said, this look is super, super, super simple. It's just smoking out the lash line. You can do this with any colors. You can do it with purples. You can do it with plums. You can do it with blacks and browns like I did. Or you can do it with all browns if you want. It's just a really simple twist to a regular beat. Of course, you don't have to do every single thing that I did. But I think if you are looking for a new twist, a new edge to your new um, to your workday, everyday makeup, then I think this would be the perfect kind of like addition to it so i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this wine wednesday i need to hurry up and get this edited so that way you guys can see it on wednesday <laughs> um once again make sure you check out the stella rosa pineapple boy do i wish this was sponsored by stella hello Brr. hello i would like a sponsorship please <laughs> Uh, that would be amazing, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you check the description box for the details on this hair It'll be up pretty soon We're loving it. Bye guys